morning everybody how are you guys doing today we're going to talk about a few things first of all we're going to talk about these daily vlogs because i've been doing these daily vlogs for a little while now and i've got mixed feelings let's say i love doing this daily this camera's quite heavy so i'm going to hold it like this i love doing these vlogs daily because it allows you guys to see what uh, my daily life is about and i also get to address a lot of your questions and just a lot of the stuff that you guys wonder about which is kind of nice because then i don't need to do separate videos for them the only thing is it is a lot of work doing daily videos like i really love sharing it with you guys but it's like the amount of filming and then editing every day and I feel like some of you maybe would prefer it if I did um, vlogs kind of every once in a while but they were higher quality than if I did uh, just the daily vlogs like this I mean now I got sort of new camera setups and stuff that might change um, so yeah so those are my thoughts of the morning I was just downstairs looking at the stats because the views aren't that good um, and I was thinking maybe the daily vlogs aren't the best way to go so I don't know comment below if you think I should continue daily vlogs um, or if I should uh, move to a sort of less high quantity but higher quality stuff. So that was step number one. Uh, the, the thing that I want to talk about. The other thing I want to talk about is the clothing line and watches. I've been getting some designs from you guys for t-shirts and stuff like that and I've loved getting that sort of stuff and we're moving along quite nicely I reckon probably next week sometime um, so today it's Saturday next week there will probably be a release about the watches I expect and then the clothing line will come later on later on um, but yeah I basically uh, have to put this video up this evening so I was wondering like what could I film on and then I was like well I haven't really filmed that much with the Porsche McCann so this isn't going to be the longest video of all time uh, I will be filming a more exciting video tonight so you'll be able to see that tomorrow but it is gorgeous weather um, also by the way I know there are going to be a bunch of comments about the bandana uh, frankly I don't care I quite like the way it looks <laughs> so uh, just I knew there would be a lot of comments of people saying hey you're wearing the bandana blah 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 if you follow me on snapchat which by the way is Seb underscore Delaney you will know that I've recently purchased quite the collection of bandanas all for four euros anyways I'm gonna stop rambling on and start talking to you about what I wanted to mention today. So I've done loads of videos, obviously on the Lotus, um, which is in there. Uh, loads of videos on the Twizy. Obviously the Mercedes isn't the most interesting thing to do videos about, but I haven't done loads and loads of videos about the McCann. It was in the garage, but I just took it out this morning. Um, so, and while I was driving, I was thinking maybe I, today's video should be about the, the McCann. So I figured I would talk to you about this but I've told you all of the stats already I've told you everything you kind of need to know about the Porsche McCann but one thing that I sort of that first when we considered getting a McCann and all that stuff I was like well what's the point in getting these like small crossovers like either like when we did the three idiots test the McCann uh, video um, my friend Dees basically said either you go all out and get a big 4x4 or you get a sporty car so I was like what is the point in a sports crossover like that so I think what we should do is we should talk about that by the way, one of my favorite things about this is the key. I think it's pretty badass. I don't know if that focused, but let's move the car so that I can put it a bit more in the center over there so that I can talk you through the different things that make sports crossovers really, really cool. Okay, you kind of need to get used to in every Porsche, the uh, start and key thing is on the left. I'm sure you guys knew that actually. So let's move the car. Oh God, it's hot. It's really suddenly started to get warm in Monaco. So I'm just gonna move it to a more central position in the driveway so that I can show you around the car. And then maybe we'll take it for a spin afterwards. It might not even be that necessary because I've already talked to you about how it drives and all that stuff. Anyways, let's hop out now and talk you through sort of the characteristics of this car. So, ugh. Ah, there comes the camera. Basically, you guys know about this. I mean, Porsche McCann, there's not much you guys don't know, it seems. So, you know that it is the diesel V6, I think it's 306 horsepower, or 258, one or the other. I should really know. I should really know this. But uh, V6, you can get petrol, and then you can get the McCann turbo, which is obviously turbocharged and has over 400 horsepower, I think. But this one actually kind of looks like a turbo, because it's got those turbo rims. So, those are probably my favorite option 
with the car. Sorry if it's a bit shaky, I'm still getting used to these cameras. And yeah, this one's obviously in blue, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We are here to talk about sports cross sport crossovers as a general category. Like, does it make sense to have a car that's still big, that's still high-ish, um, that's got four-wheel drive, but is supposedly still kind of a bit of a sports car? Well, to be honest, before we had this, I would have told you that it's kind of the most pointless category of car because if you're getting a 4x4, get a 4x4 that can actually go everywhere and isn't low and all that stuff. And if you're going to get a sports car, just get a bloody sports car. But this is such a good compromise of both of those things. So first of all, I think it looks really cool. So it's got that aspect of the sports cariness in it um, and then it's kind of one of those cars that will just do anything like this will really um, because it's a diesel obviously and it's the smallest engine like it will not drink that much fuel you can really just cruise it on the motorway use it as your daily driver because it's not that big like size wise I mean obviously it's not a small car but like it's not bigger than the Mercedes C-Class so size wise it's really not that bad whereas if you have like a Range Rover Vogue or whatever or even a Cayenne or stuff like that they're just so huge you can't park them anywhere um, so that's the whole size thing out of the way everyone's like oh why are you getting such a big car blah 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 to drive around the city it's not actually that big um, then the other thing is you can take it off-roading like we've taken this to the to the mountains you can take it in the snow they're actually brilliant off-road cars so that's cool as well because most people say oh if you're gonna get the 4x4 just get something that can actually go off-roading well these can trust me we've tried it out and they can um, and then the sports car side of it this is probably not the one you want to get if you're going for sports car but you can even though this is a diesel you can actually have quite a bit of fun that like you got paddles behind the steering wheel um, and then you've got a sport mode down there and when you do that it is kind of fun like the suspension it's a Porsche at the end of the day the suspension is is a uh, is pretty decent and the the steering feel and all that stuff is quite nice so yeah, the one thing that does really annoy me about this car though, I don't know if any other people have picked up on it, are the brakes. They're great, they're really powerful and stuff, they're just really, really grabby. And I remember when Sam, um, seeing through glass, drove this, he said the same thing. At first he was like, oh Seb, you know, making fun of me, saying, oh, your, your, you know, your braking is pretty grabby today and all that stuff. Then he got in and drove it and I was like, whoa, I really see what you mean. So, the brakes are a bit annoying, um, but that's something you kind of get used to. But apart from that, I mean, the cool thing also is you have plenty of space. I mean, in the back you can easily have three people, no problems at all. And it's so nice being a Porsche, obviously all the leather is gorgeous, I know I talk about it all the time. And then also, in the boot, you've got a decent amount of space as well. And you can put the seats down, you can put all of those seats down to have it all sort of as one massive area um, where you can fit pretty much anything. Uh, something if you have a dog which is worth considering there's quite a big lip here so for my dog to jump up it's not that easy um, you can get the option to have like air suspension almost on the car so you could lower it but yeah you guys have already seen me driving this car and stuff so I'm not really gonna take it out I don't think in the end um, because there's not much point I told you about all of the driving characteristics of this car I just thought I would sort of give you a tour and show you everything that makes this car actually quite cool and quite useful in every single possible way. We have the standard speakers in this car and they're actually really good. You can get like, uh, you can get Bose and then one level over that I think you can get Harman and Kardon, which probably is incredible. This car already has 9,098 kilometers and we've had it since early February I think it was. Um, so yeah, I love the steering wheel on this car. It's one of my favorite things. I think it's a really nice shape and it's also just such nice materials. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today, I think. I was going to take it out for a spin, but I'm not sure that there is much point, to be perfectly honest. And I needed to get a video out for you guys, and I thought, why not talk you through a bit more of the stuff with the McCann? So that's the McCann for you. I'm going to be out filming probably with a Bentley Bentayga or something like that later with George, who you saw with the 507 um, Miltec. Mercedes, but mostly let's just have a chat like I'm gonna be answering a bunch of the comments on this video So comment down below if you think I should continue the daily vlogs um, Comment down below also if you follow me on snapchat because you'll see a bunch of stuff there and yeah Just anyways, let's have a conversation in the comments below and thanks for watching as per usual And I'll see you guys very very soon if you aren't already please remember to subscribe Bye What the hell? MC12 Hold this 
crazy. So we are heading now, we didn't really know what to do, so we're basically heading to a beach even though it is really bad weather. Um, but yeah, beach time, we're going to a little like unknown beach. 